Hey guys, we've got um, Sue on um, from Natural Products Canada. I'll let her introduce herself in a second. But um, Natural Products Canada is um, sponsoring Incubator Alley this year at CHFA. And, um, you know, um, admittedly, I don't know a lot about um, Natural Products Canada, so we'll get Sue to kind of tell us about it. But um, they're doing some really cool things. I think there's some um, just wicked brands coming to Incubator Alley. And I, you know, kind of reading the website and seeing um, some of the work that they've done before. And then, Sue, some of the folks you work with, um, you know, Lorna and um, and Dean Mosca, like we, we, these are folks that we've also had on the show. And, and we're, you know, we're never, we're always learning something new from these guys. So we're super excited to have you. Um, welcome. Thank you so much. We're really excited to be here. Um, and thanks for everything that you do to, to support um, all these companies in Canada, because uh, we certainly have a lot of great companies, but sometimes they fly a bit under the radar. So yeah, sure. that's one of, one of the important jobs that we have here at Natural Products Canada. Um, you know, uh, initially, our job is to identify these really interesting companies that are leveraging the natural and, and biologically based innovation but then you know once we identify them helping them to figure out what's their best path to market and you know where are they going to get the resources that they need where they're going to get the expertise that they need so we really act as sort of a one-stop shop for them in terms of uh, providing them advice and guidance connecting them to other uh, expertise and, and resources. We also have some financial resources that we can give to them as well, which really helps to help them, you know, address some of the gaps in their business plan. So it's uh, it's pretty interesting. We see lots of uh, lots of companies from right across the country. We don't work just in, in um, the food and nutrition space. We also go as far as um, bio-based plastics and bio-based uh, um, sur like uh, surfactants, uh, biopesticides, all of that uh, oh, wow. whole area of sort of green, which is really, you know, not necessarily directly related to CHFA, but a lot of it is because, of course, we're looking at how is the food actually being produced? How are we packaging things? You know, what are the things that we're putting uh, on our bodies? Is there are there are cleaning products? Are there ways that we can make those those um, more sustainable? So we really work across this broad array of innovation that all has that biological, natural component to it. So it's pretty interesting. Um, but oh. we're here to talk about CHFA, so I'll, I'll stick. To it. <laughs> no, no, okay, the, we need to. We need I, to I bit, think that's because really we cool. didn't know anything about you. Yeah. Just so you're very clear, like yeah, we've we knew you were coming on and we're both looking. So I said, I, I don't know what they do. Yeah. I mean, I know some of the people yeah. involved, but yeah. I'm really not too sure what the heck these people do. Yeah. I think, I think admittedly uh, we've been so busy doing the work that we haven't talked a lot about the work that we're doing. And um, you know, some, sometimes that's good. It means we've been able to create a lot of results, but there's still a lot of people who don't know, uh, you know, who we are, what we do. We started in 2016 and we're funded by the federal government. Um, and you know, our whole mandate was to ensure that these really interesting Canadian innovations that are better for people, animals, and the planet are getting to market. And, you know, the government's really, behind that kind of uh, mandate one wants to see Canada leading on that sort of green front um, so that's that's what they fund us to do um, but when it comes to you know the companies that are coming to CHFA you know they kind of actually represent a lot of the the diversity that we have right across our uh, our network because we've got companies who are um, you know producing stuff like um, refrigerated energy bars. Um, but we also have, you know, uh, a more sustainable toothpaste that's natural, you know, so there's there's that kind of uh, difference between like the food nutrition side and what we, you know, use to clean our bodies or right. even to put on our bodies. There's some cosmetics and hair care brands in there as well. So it's exciting. Um, you know, they're early stage where we support in uh, Incubator Alley because it's that spot where those newer companies can actually get a taste for uh, exhibiting at such a great big show like the CHFA show is. Yeah. Um, it's a wonderful opportunity for them because, um, you know, they get the opportunity to exhibit, but not having the whole responsibility of a full size booth. And they're kind of in with other uh, companies that are around their stage. So they're not right, you know, beside one of the bigger giants that right. you know, kind of dwarf them. But, um, you know, we support it and we group our companies together. And, you know, one of the things that kind of comes from that is they get sort of 
in a sense, an NPC stamp of approval. You know, there's some validation in people knowing that we're working with these companies, we're looking at the products that they have, we're looking at how viable they are as a company and guiding them along the way so that there is that little bit of validation that someone else believes that, you know, they've actually got something that's that's worth taking a look at. And of course, being an incubator alley, um, they're not already out there in national distribution. So from a retailer's perspective, they're getting an opportunity to not only see something that they can get into their store that maybe isn't uh, at, you know, the, the, the nearby store, um, but also they can start to see where some things are going, what are maybe some future trends that are kind of coming in and, and are at an earlier stage. So we like that part too for the for the retailer's perspective. But every time we've done this, and this will be, um, I think our third time uh, supporting our clients to go to the show, every time we do it, you know, we get these companies coming back and saying, this was so amazing for us because you know, we got to talk to all of these different buyers and, and retailers and, you know, some orders have happened right there on the floor, which is excellent. Um, and lots and lots of follow up that's happened after. That's all really great. But then the other thing that always happens that, that we are always kind of surprised by is how much they learn just from talking to other companies. Yeah. The other startups that they're kind of working alongside with in the incubator alley, but also the people who are so generous in this industry who have been there and done that and come along and ask some really good questions, make some really good comments about the product, about the way it's being positioned or packaged, you know, even about their booth display. So they really learn a lot just by being at the show, even if they never speak to a retailer. Um, so it, it just gives them so many advantages for being there. And, you know, with our support, they're able to do it at a really, really discounted cost. And, you know, so we're able to support them that way. Because for a lot of them, yeah. this is this is a big deal. You know, they might have been sampling in, in single grocery stores or, or single um, health food stores. But this is an opportunity to get a lot of really in the know industry people. Right seeing and tasting their products I, I think it's amazing i think i think you you know like over the course of of this podcast we've talked to people who you know have never uh, we talked to karen from bloom the other day and and um she was like i never did retail never don't really understand all this stuff like i'm learning it as i go and you think like these moments like being able to be around other you know folks that are retail focused that and then there's something about natural products and CHFA and like Canadian retail. We kind of love being around each other, even though we might be competing. And so you see products and you go, that's just smart, right? I wish I thought of that, but I didn't. So let me give you something that I didn't know along the way. So I, I think of those and I, I, I think what you're doing for these guys is so amazing, right? Like that that first trade show, like everybody has a story about being at the wrong trade show. Hmm. And you kind of go, oh, I stood around. I like, nobody talked to me. I felt awful. Like I spent all this money and nothing happened. And you're giving them a chance to be at, you know, something super relevant where, you know, we, we want it. We want people to come and compete, right? So with wicked products, right? So it's kind of amazing. Well, we do a lot of cool things in Canada. And what yeah. you sort of said at the beginning, we don't, we don't, I mean, we're, we're a funny, we're a funny country. We don't, we like a lot of cool stuff. We can do a lot of cool stuff. We're highly innovative and we don't tell anybody. Like that's sort of the Canadian way, yeah. right? We apologize all the time and we just don't really sometimes get on a, the you know, on the grandstand and, and, and say, Hey, listen, you know, we, we do cool shit. We, we do a lot of neat stuff in this country and we have a yeah. lot of people that can do cool things. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So. I think that it's absolutely true. And, you know, as I said at the beginning, like we've we've been um, a little bit quiet about the work that we're doing. But one of the things that I'm really proud of and I think that we do well is we, we put out industry reports um, pretty much one a year, maybe two a year. This last year we did one to celebrate International Women's Day and we did um, over a hundred female founders in the natural space and you mentioned Bloom they, they were on the list but it was amazing to see like over a hundred women from across the country who are leading in innovation in you know food uh, food ingredients these bioplastics uh, green chemicals all the areas that I mentioned at the top 
you know, and they're all female founders. That was personally really rewarding for me to be able to see us put that that report out there and and you know get some media attention around these companies and bring some attention to the great work that's being done. And we've done the same in uh, alternative proteins because of course you know Canada's really leading in that space. We've done the same for uh, natural health products and, and um, you know nutrition. And it's uh, even yeah uh, several several. Um, events and reports that do that so we we do tend to try to do that um but i think there's just so much more work that could be done because even in canada as you said we're we're not really well known and a lot of the brands aren't really well known and you know it's just you just gotta keep on working on it nobody has limitless budgets to you know no it's just gotta keep us. plugging keep plugging keep plugging exactly. keep plugging but yeah yeah very cool oh this is really cool um thank you for innovation alley and then thanks for coming on. Like, well, that's you. great. I'm I'm glad that this uh, worked out. I yeah. I probably should have reached out to you guys a long time ago, but you know, oh, it's all good. Whatever, don't worry about it. It's all There's good. things going on. As, as I said, on, sometimes right? we're so busy yeah. working that we don't actually tell people yeah, yeah. about the work, and it's yeah. something that we're working on this this next year to really try to boost that because I think a lot of people just don't know who we are. So awesome, we love it. Perfect. That's awesome. Thanks, thanks Sue. Sue. Thank you. Really great to meet you. Okay. You too. You too. Watch out with you soon. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.